Hello everyone. A very good morning to all of you. It is a great honor to be part of Digital Education Summit 2020 and share the platform with all of you. Thanks to South Asian Institute for Advanced Research and Development for providing me the opportunity to share my thoughts. I would like to share four things today. Number 1, technologies that will transform education. Number 2, the content and creativity number 3 the unwelcome fallout and number 4 age of lifelong learning let's start with number 1 technologies that will transform education like mixed reality augmented plus virtual reality digital twins hololens 5g technologies etc let's talk about digital dronacharya the internet of skills A few months ago, a 10-year-old child in Assam won two gold and a silver medal in rhythmic gymnastics in a national school-level competition. Upasa Talukdar had no formal teacher. She logged on to YouTube and watched three famous Russian gymnasts and picked up the skill so well that she went on a medal-winning spree. This is what I call its Internet of Skills that is transforming learning. education and training across the world by enabling the delivery of physical experience remotely the internet of skills will revolutionize education it will transform the way we teach learn and interact with our surroundings it will be a world where our best engineers can service cars instantaneously around the world or anybody can be taught how to paint by an artist on the other side of the globe with blazing fast speed massive bandwidth and capabilities like network slicing from 5g the internet of skills will have the enabling communication technologies to transform our capabilities in unimaginable ways wearing haptic gloves a piano teacher from europe could teach a student in india real time the student and teacher feeling the same sensation as they hit the keys simultaneously it is almost as if the hands of the teacher in paris guiding the fingers of the student in kolkata while haptic communication have been around for long time and the principles of the zero latency internet have long been laid out the design of an internet of skills requires a ground breaking cross disciplinary approach in combining electrical engineering like communication networking skills computer science like artificial intelligence data science and mechanical engineering like haptic technology usage if you have a mobile phone you can take advantage of augmented reality and for those who have never heard of it the most successful application was a game called pokemon go where you could hold your phone up around you and see things that didn't exist before augmented reality lets you interact with the environment around you in a way that was not possible many years ago microsoft has invested heavily in ar with its hololens that allow teams to collaborate from a distance both vr and ar makes it easier to solve complex problem from anywhere without needing physical equipment to do so a teacher from an ivy league institute can be simultaneously delivering a lecture in boston and in a rural college in bardwan let's go to the point number 2 content and creativity new content will have to be generated as it will now be delivered across digital collaboration platforms as technologies become a critical factor in delivering education especially virtual education which has become a necessity in the post covid 19 world education content needs to change learning has to be fun therefore gamification of learning is essential to engage the learner this will mean that traditional content will have to be redesigned for the technologies that will deliver those and also the format will undergo dramatic changes to become far more engaging 
and interactive than today. The use of artificial intelligence will become extremely important as learning will have to be customized for the individual as opposed to the current system of one size fits all learning. That's why adaptive learning that use artificial intelligence to customize learning for each person is extremely effective. Machines are now sophisticated enough to collect data on your skills and experience, identify improvement areas and skill gaps, then provide a selection of training that would help. Adaptive learning also changes as the learner molding to their every need. The human attention span has decreased from 12 seconds to 8 seconds over the past 18 years. As a result, our inability to concentrate, we choose to consume information in short bites. Therefore, micro learning allows us to learn as we go from wherever you are at our own pace with short form content instead of en enrolling in a long course where not everything applies to you, you filter down to the parts those are most applicable to you. Research shows that micro learning reduces the cost by half and speed up development by 300%. This is something we need to adapt and recreate content in easily digestible bytes of information. However, at the end of the day, we will need amazing teachers to deliver content and mesmerize the students with their engaging presence. Machines should never be able to replace a fantastic teacher, but teachers will also need to be digitally literate to work on this knowledge, delivery platforms and collaborate with the technology professionals and game developers to create this content. The third one is the unwelcome fallout. And what is that? The unwelcome fallout is increasing the digital divide in countries like us. As the large number of poor students in India don't even have access to a smartphone. The major challenge during COVID-19, when most education institutions have gone online, is that it has widened the digital divide in India. The biggest hurdle for online learning in India is the rate of internet penetration. With over 560 million internet users, India is the second largest online market in the world, ranked only behind China. It was estimated that by 2023, three years from now, there would be over 650 million internet users in our country. Despite the large base of internet users, the internet penetration rate in the country stood at around 50% only. This meant that around half of the 1.37 billion Indians has access to internet. There has been a consistent increase in internet accessibility compared to just five years ago when the internet penetration rate was just around 27%. Policy decisions are needed to correct it. Internet for all is as essential as food and shelter if education is to reach masses. A broadband revolution along with 5G technology, just like the green and white revolution is what is required today. Point number four, we have entered the age of lifelong learning. The jobs of tomorrow don't even exist today. There is a paradox that's facing us in the education sector. Let's accept the premise that our education is to acquire knowledge to equip us with skills which are essential for employment. For instance, we want to become data scientists, engineers, medical professionals, etc. While these jobs will be in demand, however, over 65% of the jobs that will exist only 10 years from now in 2030 haven't been invented yet and vast majority of the children starting schools would one day hold jobs 
that do not exist as of now. The future would need drone pilots, robot supervisors, human to machine integrators. The core role will be to mediate relationships between human and machines and robots. An augmented reality journey builder creating an augmented reality travel experience, allowing customers to travel to a country in augmented reality before purchasing a ticket or even try an Airbnb home before making a decision, right? These skills that will be required will range from amazing level of creativity to visualize solution, communication skills to articulate the value propositions of this incredible new solution and services, critical thinking to work in the kingdoms of range of probabilities, compassion and empathy to walk a mile in the shoes of the users or the end customers and above all learn the most valuable skills of handling failures. We must teach the next generation that success is just a byproduct of a job well done. Happiness is the goal. Failures happens when we chase success. Thank you very much.